Shalom. Kohala Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahakwadash, the Bonners High teachers, the apostles, and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the 144,000 elect men of the nation of Israel that is teaching in truth, society, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. It's just some quick in the spirit, you know, giving you a glimpse into the mindset of the so called black women here in America, man. In which this society in itself produces some of the worst women that you can ask for, man. You're not getting a wife out of America, man. Point blank, period. You're not finna get a nurturer, a, a mother, you know, a, 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 a helpmate, a rib of my rib, a bone of my But You're not getting that from this society, man. You're gonna get you a bitch, a skinny bitch, a tall bitch, short bitch, fat bitch, you know, a bad bitch, a pretty bitch. You're not getting. A nice, decent, softy, feminine women from this society, man. Because it's the aura they cleave to. Slut culture. You gonna get you a bunch of sexy red replicas, man. Sukiyana duplicates. You know, this is what you get. And these women here that you about to see, they pretty much a representation of the two-third women, the undesirable women of our nation, man. You know, and if you operate in this spirit... Your so-called black, Latino, or Native Indian women, which are the biblical Israelites. I, hey, repent and return to your how about Shemal Shah because the Lord has a plethora of judgments that's going to come upon you women, man. And you're going to be PTD out here, man. The Lord is going to put you to death, man. You see? And uh, you you women are already getting put to death now on a, on a rapid rate. Bitches out there in Chicago talking about some protect the black women. But this is how the black women act, man. You know, your, your deeds is worthy of death. You see, it's a power that's judging the earth, man. And the shit that you put out, you get it back, man. Fucking talking about karma. It ain't no such thing as karma, man. You see, it's a such thing as the Lord not being mobbed. For whatever you sow it, you shall also reap it, man. You see, let's play these videos. The one doing thing on me and my pops did, we came to hoe oh. and go. Oh. If you just going and not hoeing, hey, baby, you might need to wait for the church retreat. You might not need to come on this <laughs> nah, trip. No, you ain't got to hoe. Everybody do it. I advise you women to wait for the church retreat. Because if you're going with a bitch like this, you're going to get PTD out here, man. Put the death. They want to do. I'm pro choice. No, because so. when you're not, you, you not pro ho, you're anti ho. I'm sorry. If you're not pro ho, you're anti. And you are not welcome up in here. We are supporters of sluts, whores, <laughs> dick suckers, and all things above. Okay? We are pro everything up What's in this going motherfucker. On? I'm just I don't like Yo, how You see, and she making it seem like if you a nice, delicate, effeminate woman, you love being submissive, you all you want is one man. She act as if like nah, you you ain't shit. If you don't support the slut culture. Then you ain't you ain't fun, but really, hey, these women are nothing like they was designed to be here in this society, man. These women are completely destroyed. That's why you stay away from bad bitches, man, because they decaying. They're they are de that's a decayed woman, man. You know, and she's gonna spew out her filth, especially when you get a bride drunk. You see, because they say drunk, uh, drunk talk is sober thoughts, man. You know, so they spew out their madness. Once that liquor get in them, cause some spirits start to come out of them, man. You know? But you gotta stay away from bras like this, man. And like the little comment right here say they really gotta stop selling podcast equipment. Yeah. Because hey, these podcasts was really set up for these fuckers to spew out their madness before the profits, really, man. You know? Because we getting a hold to these videos. And these niggas that's over some of these podcasts. They too scared to speak out against shit like this because they they worried about what a bride how a bride gonna feel about them. They want some they want some box, man. But it get to a point where it's like, man, fuck the box, man. This shit gotta be corrected, man. And this is why the prophets was set up because we don't give a fuck about your feelings, bitch. You off, and if you don't repent, the Lord gonna kill you, man. And it's well deserved, man, because you don't need no shit like that in the earth, man. You know, let's go to the next one. Being a we being a box, any girl. Hey, it ain't just went on. You know, because you'll have a bride to say, yeah, all of us ain't like that. Nah, shit. Let's play this video. Being a, we being a buck. Any girl who says that she doesn't desire at some point a dick in her mouth and a dick in her pussy, she's, unless she's just a straight lesbian, like, that's, the, that's a desirable... 
play. That whole, that whole right here said you're a lesbian if you don't want to ride in your mouth and one in your box. Because that's desirable. This, this, this is how the women in this society act, man. And they putting on for all this. They represent the so-called black women as a whole. You know, and when you go in the comments, you know this shit. Don't none of these black women be speaking out against it. They kind of just be on some, oh, Lord. Oh, my God. No, she didn't just say that. But it's because subconscious, subconsciously, you kind of with that shit, man. You you women should be ashamed. You should you should really bash these bitches, man, because they represent you. They they the ones that's getting all the views. 30,000 views. So when the nations, the other nations look into America and they viewing the black women, these are the women that they showing, man. So when they come over here, they already got a depiction of how the black women is. She a slut. I'm I'm for the throw they bitch some bread. I'm a slut out, man. You know, and this is why a lot of you women got diseases out there. Your box leaking. It, it's funky. It's stink. You know, you try to cover it up with all these bath and body works, all these fragrant soaps and lotions and shit. It's because you sleep with too many niggas, bro. You're not supposed to be out here giving yourself up. You're supposed to only deal with one man. But because America then fucked your head up. That it didn't twinkle all the way down in your box, man, stinking. Now you want to blame the nigga. I, I saw a bride say these niggas the reason why a lot of women boxes be funky. No, it's because you let a lot of niggas let off in you and you got all these latex rubbers going inside of you, man. So, of course, your shit gonna stink. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Two stallions. I'm just like, God damn. I'm gonna speak for myself. It's, it's, a, desi it's a desirable Boxes pleasure. Before. Be filthy man, I'm gonna lick her fingers in the end. But how much money do I have to this, make? This is the black women, and we seen this. The elder just did a lesson on this funky bride right here, man. The elder, the uh, GMS precept upon precept, who you know, and let's get into her realm. How much money do I have to make to date you? I'm more than me, which is I can't tell you that, but I make you know a pretty good penny, okay. okay. So, just like slow you got an L on the man. You choose it, you lose it. If you choose it, you lose it. Just keep it moving. You know, the team is all they good for. So, do you think that. Watch how he fed the cutter, though. Watch this. When you shake ass in the camera and stuff like men are gonna look at this and be like, you know, that's a girl who I want to make my wife. I don't give a. Look at her. You can tell by her motherfucking face when he asked that question. Her whole countenance changed. Look at that. So when she heard wife, a, that's one thing a slut don't want to talk about being a wife. That cut her. Watch how they gonna cut her soul. So when that wife came up, um, mm. whole countenance changed. I don't give a fuck. I don't want these. Let me tell you something, baby. I was raised by my father. Look, and this, this, this was the clamorous, the clamorous, you know, side of it came out, man. Them demons started to come out of. This is what she got to say, and this is why they got this thing going on talking about to protect black women, bro. If you niggas going for that shit, man. That's only for you weak niggas, man. Because a man understanding, no matter of fact, I'm gonna show you. This how they feel about you. Fuck you, niggas. I have day one of you niggas that I keep two in the chamber. So do you at all times, at all times. So off top, she telling you if you gonna date her and then with the, this bitch, she represent the millions of black women out here in America. If she, if you date her, just know this bitch got two niggas in the chamber. So if you got a girlfriend out there, might be your wife too. Just know that that bitch probably got two niggas in the chamber. And this is why her spirit always off. This is why the bitch sometimes be mad. She probably getting popped by the nigga, man. You know, the bitch bipolar and shit. She bringing different doctrines in your house as far as, you know, you saying something. She bucking up against what you saying because this nigga bugging her ill. You know. Fuck you niggas. I don't give a fuck. I'm my wife. Hold on. They run that back. At all times. Fuck you niggas. I don't give a fuck. She said, fuck you niggas with a hard elf. And guess what, man? The Lord is not mob, motherfucker. That what you saw, you gonna reap it. So them words is gonna come back and slap you clean in your shit, man. 
Just wait till this power go out. Wait till the cell phones go down. Wait till social media go down and all that, man. Wait till you ain't got no protection. The nigga that you done disrespected, then said fuck, then got loud with it, then embarrassed in public, they gonna kill you, man. And they ain't no hard saying. You know, it's probably hard because you bitches think that you innocent and you not, man. You not. You say wickedness is literal, but to a wickedness of a woman, man. You know, bitch wipe her mouth and say she ain't did nothing wrong. That's the black woman for you, man. She a fiend and act like she ain't did shit wrong. A wife. What you, what do you, you not want to be a wife one day, though? Question. Do you not want to be a wife one day, though? When I'm old, you shake ass. I need old. to know your connotation. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm a lot of niggas' wife. And it's another thing. Beauty expired, baby. You know, yeah, that's one thing. Look at this sweaty back bitch, man. These women in this society don't understand that beauty expires. You know, you ain't going to always be tight. The skin be tight all on you. Skin glowing. You know, you ain't gonna always be young, bitch. You're gonna get them wrinkles soon. And that's what you women don't understand, man. A, a man not gonna want you when you old, man. Only a simp, a nigga that he ain't got nobody. You know? That would be, man. Let's keep going. Okay! Hey, I'm a lot of niggas tight. Do you have a ring? I got a few. I got plenty of rings. Bitch, I forgot to put my ice out. I'm iced out. Let me put but, the light on that but, shit. But has a man of a ring? Let me put the ice on that shit. Yeah. How much money do I have to make? Yeah, and this is the black women, man. You know, and this is why the Lord is for the humble the shit out you women when he take away that synthetic hair, them synthetic lashes, that fake, that fucking makeup that's covering up that acne in them cradles. You know, them fake ass eyebrows. When the Lord take that shit away, them beauty products, them fragrant products, you gonna be revealed, man. That mustache that you keep shaving off every month gonna grow back. That chin hair that you keep plucking, that shit gonna grow back and you ain't gonna have nothing to pluck it with. Your underarms gonna be hairy. You know, your stomach hairy, your legs hairy, arms hairy. You gonna lose that fake ass beauty, man. That's what you don't understand. You see, but let's go here. The goddamn No Man Club. Ain't nobody choosing them, man. Hey, look at them. Let's run it back, man. Ain't nobody choosing that, man. Look at that shit. Come on. This bitch look like Tyrese, man. Ain't nobody choosing Jody. Ain't nobody choosing that, man. Ain't none of these hoes got a ring on. And you can tell they, these three right here definitely ready to kill Jake. This is not to protect the household this is for the you niggas out there man they mad at you man look at that this bitch look like a upside down bowling pin man ain't nobody choosing that little legs big body look at that man ain't nobody choosing strong ass hands nobody choosing on that she mad as shit auntie mad man her wig think of her wig man number synthetic Hell, man. Ain't nobody choosing on auntie, man. Look at that, man. Ain't nobody choosing that. She upset. She done been married three times, fail. Ain't nobody choosing y'all, man. Ain't nobody got no ring on. Ain't nobody got no ring. Look, definitely ain't nobody choosing that. Beat up a sack of potatoes. Deep freezer built bitches. Ain't nobody choosing these women, man. And them guns ain't gonna save y'all either, man. <laughs> bitch gonna run out of ammo and be trying down out here, man. You see? But how long? You know? Real quick, this second edge is 8 and verse 50. You say, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. You see, so it's nothing that you women gonna be able to do to combat the uh, the judgment the Lord has set to come to, uh, come to you, man, for not repent. You see, your weakness has exceedingly polluted you, man. Tell you how the uh, how the weakness has reached into the clouds in the Book of Revelations. You see, so this ain't gonna go on too much longer, man. You know, it's only a matter of time before you howl by Shema was shy. Unleash on this place, man. And you people gonna be in dwelling in misery, man. 
you know, real quick. This shit can't continue, man. Cause this ain't life, man. You living amongst brute beasts, man. You know, this Psalms chapter 7 and verse 9. He said, Oh, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. See, and this is what we asking for, man. We praying that your how about Shemia was shot, hurry and bring forth judgment, man. You see? Cause we, hey, we dealing with this shit, man, every day. Wickedness is being spewed out and it's no accountability going out. These bitches getting we need more judgment, man. You know? Say, so, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous power try the hearts and reigns, man. Who see? My defense is of the most high, which saved the upright in heart. You see, and these people are not upright, man. Their heart goes back to the mind. Goes back to the Hebrew word law. And these people are not upright in their spirit, man. They fucking off. And they get off on being off. They get off on being degenerate plants, man. You see? So we praying that you how about you now? Should I bring this shit to an end? You know? Real quick, cause this place, this place is not your race, man. Let's grab that. Micah 2 and 10. He said, Arise ye and depart. And you depart by way of the mind, by way of your reasoning. You see, he said, for this is not your race. Because it is polluted, man. Look, look at this shit, man. Look how the women act. Look how the men act. Because you got simp niggas that are scared to speak out against this shit. Because they, it's going to fuck them up on against some box, man. And that's why it was set up for the prophets to go into it. Because we don't give a fuck, man. We don't care about you people's feelings. This shit off, man. You know, you say for this is not your risk. And it, it's obvious not our risk, man. Because we're constantly vexed in this society, man. You see, because it is polluted. It shall, it, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. So when you cleave to this place, it, it destroys you mentally, man. And it's going to lead to a sore destruction. You can destroy it by those thermonuclear missiles in which a lot of you women are missile food, man. You see, if you ain't if you ain't trying down in the streets first, you're going to get ate up by those missiles, man. You know, let's grab that. Because like the bride said, man, fuck you niggas, man. <laughs> you know, and that shows you the hatred that E really got for you, uh, for uh, for Jake, man. Jake out here trying to love the bitch, and the bitch hates you. Only thing she wants is your resources, man. That's what make E love you, man. How much money you bringing in and a ride in your pants, man. You see, this bride really don't love you because she don't listen to you. She not gonna trim my ways to fit your standards, man. You niggas out there trimming your ways to fit her standards, man. Fuck that, man. They ain't doing that no more. You know, this is uh, Micah 7. Starting at verse 9, he said, I will bear the indignation of the Lord, and we are. We ban the indignation of Yahweh by Shemar Shah because I have sinned against him. And when you see shit like this coming out more and more, it just makes you repent, man. It makes you uh, uh, beg for forgiveness uh, from Yahweh by Shemar Shah for going off. Because we got to bat this shit, man. We really got to live amongst this shit, bro. You know? He said, until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. See? And we shalak rayam in the shit out of this place, man. Shalak rayam while my shapat yam baba kushaya how about shimei I was shot to the two-thirds in America, man. You see? Until he execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light. And I shall behold his righteousness. You see, and we we have been brought forth to the light by being brought into this council. And we beholding the righteousness of Yahweh by Shema was shy. You see, he said, then shall, then she that is my enemy shall see it. You see, who is our enemy, man? The so-called black woman. She don't fuck with you, Jake. You know, she the only, you, you don't hear fuck, fuck a nigga coming out of no other Women mouth, but the so-called black women. You don't hear Mexican women saying it. You don't hear white women saying it. You don't hear African women saying it. It's the damn B-dub. Fucking black women. Get you a, get you a white man. And that what Bay, that what Bay stand for, man. Black women in Esau. Let the, let the bitch be with her husband, man. That's who taking care of anyway. You know? But he said, then she that is my enemy shall see it 
and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord that power? Yeah, you see? Because his brothers in the truth, man, they going through all sorts of hell with Eve. Child support. You know, this bitch trying to get a divorce because you in the truth and she want to take half your substance. You know? Brothers mad catching hell with Eve. Eve be getting all this money uh, on the taxes for claiming your children. They don't give you shit back. You know? So, hey, he gonna get all that shit back, man. Right when, right when all hell break loose. See, the Lord is gonna execute judgment for us, man. On our enemies. The so-called white man, Esau, eat them. And you damn black, Latino, Native Indian women, man. But mainly you so-called black women. You see? He say, uh, where is the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trying down as the mire of the street. See? And this ultimately what's going to, that's the end all be all for you brides out here, man. Y'all talk shit against the so-called black man so much, but that same nigga going to see you trying down in the streets, man. He ain't even going to know he beholding prophecy. You know, but ultimately for the men of the Lord, all the women that we done dealt with, you know, these hoes getting off on giving you the cold shoulder, you're going to see that bitch trying down in the streets, man. The Lord may have it set up where you got the substance and she going to have to come to you and you're going to remember that bitch. You know, you're going to kick our ass back in the out of darkness, man. You see, it's going to play out. See, these people don't know the Lord, man. You being set up by your how about you was shot. The spirit that you in, that pride and arrogance. See, the Lord tell you how he choose your delusions, man. And the Lord got a lot of you women in the treat bag. You thinking that society is going to continue as it is, man. But the wickedness of the wickedness is going to come to an end. Because the Lord is going to step in on our behalf. And you self-willed bitches going to be put down out here, man. You know? It ain't no... This ain't no hate. It's, a, it's really a warning. Matter of fact. Isaiah 32 and verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Then you know this ain't even us talking, man. This is the words of your how about Shema was shy. The Lord is giving you warning, and letting you know if you don't get right, he's going to be dragging your ass by your lashes, man. He's going to snatch that wig with the glue still on it. He's going to snatch it up off you, and re the rest of your hair going to come off, man. You already fucking bald head, shit won't grow. And he's going to expose you, man. You want to keep walking in pride like you that did, the Lord is going to expose you. He's going to show these men that you stink, that you really ain't a damn pageant princess. You see, he say many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. You see, yeah, the vengeance is going to fail, man. All the substance and resources that you get from these simp ass niggas, that shit going to fail, the gathering gonna, the gathering not coming for your aid, 911 not going to pick up, your cousin not going to answer the phone, your dad going to get put down, and you're going to be left out here, man. This shit going to play out, man. And there's going to be a lot of weeping and groaning and mashing the teeth in that day, man. A lot of hollering and crying. You see? You think it's a fucking game, man. This shit really for the play out. And it's going to be well deserved. He say, tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. You see? So you women are at ease. You outside. You outside, man, like this. This is a careless woman, man. A woman is at ease. All these men around, not knowing these niggas freaks, man. You know, and it's only a matter of time before the Lord put this, put this spirit on these men. Tell you how you're going to be ravaged, man. You're going to be dashed into pieces. Before you, your children going to get dashed into pieces, and you're going to get ravaged. Your little 17-year-old football player. You know, this nigga think he gonna come in and handle them truth. Them truth gonna put his ass down. You know, niggas that's just breaking their homes. They gonna put his ass down, man. And they gonna ravage you. Since you like since you like having a rod in your mouth and a rod in your box, the Lord gonna have a setup where you gonna have five niggas lined up, man. Three in the front, or three in the back, two in the front. Ravaging pound town in your ass to death. You gonna get pound town to death. 
You see, it ain't going to be nobody to help you, man. You know, let's get it. You women off, man. This shit off, man. This for the American women, man. You know? This for you fucking American bitches, man. Uh, let's grab this one right here. This second is just 15 to 49. He said, I would send plagues upon thee. That a lawyer's for the send this stuff. Widowhood. Since you like saying fuck a nigga, you ain't gonna have one. You like to disrespect your husband? Well, the Lord gonna have it where that nigga get put down. And you ain't gonna have a husband. You ain't gonna have no help. You, you got a simp ass nigga, a effeminate husband. The Lord gonna put that nigga down. And you ain't gonna have no help. You gonna have them little weak ass little effeminate boys. They gonna get their ass put down in front of you. And you gonna be left by yourself. You see? Poverty, famine, sword. And pestilence to waste our houses with destruction and death. And a lot of you women is going to fall victim to that, man. Motherfuckers ain't hating on you. It's really for the helmet of you, man. Second is 1633. The virgin shall mourn. The virgin is going into the young women. Because you got a lot of little young sluts out there, man. Bitches in high school slutted out, man. Thinking you a, you a sexy red replica. You know? So he said the virgin, you young bitches, you, you, yeah, 15, 16, 17 year old women, y'all gonna be mourning too, man, 12 years old, you bitches in little school twerking, you gonna be mourning too, cause your daddy gonna get put down, your brother's gonna get put down, your cousin's gonna get put down, and you gonna be left out here for some old freaks, man, niggas don't give a fuck about an age, they gonna get off on you, man, you see, he said having no bridegroom, the women shall mourn. Having no husband, so your mamas, your aunties, your grandmamas, you middle age, you, you know, you tw- you women in your twenties and shit, you gonna mourn, you gonna cry too, cause you gonna desire a man, but you ain't gonna have no husband. The Lord's gonna make sure that you don't have shit, man. You wanted to say fuck a nigga, you wanted to play with Jay, you wanted to disrespect him, you wanted to hurt him, you know, you wanted to cheat on him, commit adultery on him. The Lord is going to make sure you ain't got shit in that day, man. Yeah, it's a grievous warning, man. You see, the Lord for to do you in bad. It's no respect to persons. He said that daughter shall mourn. Having no helpers, your daughter's going to mourn. Your seven-year-old daughters, eight-year-old daughters, 13-year-old daughters, they going to mourn, bro, because ain't nobody going to be there to protect them. And they just going to be left out there because of the spirit that they walked in prior to the evils unfolding, man. And it's going to come down hard. When we tried to correct it, you got clamorous with us, disrespect, disrespectful, loud, causing commotion. So you, hey, just grab it. I'm going to close out right here. This is Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. The most high is not marked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You see? So the, the things that you putting out is the same shit that you're going to get back. And what you're going to get back is going to be way worse than what you put out, man. For if he saw to the flesh, for if he saw to, to his flesh, shall of the flesh reap corruption. So you wanted to give into this, this you wanted to please your spirit. Well, the Lord going to make sure, bitch, you going to be fucked up out here, man. You know? He say, uh, but he that saw to the spirit. Shall reap life everlasting. So even for you women, that sold to your spirit, you the, you tried your best to delight in the words of your how about you now shy. You you repented from being a slut. You know you repented from being masculine and unruling. The Lord is gonna honor that in that day. He's gonna protect you. You know, but for you women, there's just self will. You do what you want to do. It's fucking nigga. You don't care. Well, look. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's grab this. Um, so like it. Let me find this real quick. First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 6. He said, but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. You see? So look, you are already dead corpse. <laughs> you know? It's just only a matter of time before it Morph into it being a you being a physical dead corpse, yeah, somewhere stretched out like a starfish with no clothes on. 
that's coming to a lot of you women that operate like these women, man. And the Lord is not going to show no mercy. He don't give a fuck if you're an Instagram model. If you're a celebrity. He don't give a fuck about your status in this society. He don't give a fuck because you got a doctor's degree. He don't give a fuck because you take care of your, your, your relatives. If you acting like these bitches here, the Lord is going to put you down, man. Point blank, period. And he tell you how, how to sort. Matter of fact, because you bitches, you, you gun holding bitches. You gun law bitches. Let's, let's, let's get some for you too. Where is that? I believe it's 44. Yup, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 44. And we start at verse 5. Through thee, what I push down, will we push down our enemies? Through thy name, will we tread them under, under that rise up against us? For I would not trust in my bow, neither. Shall my sword save me? So look, that fucking gun ain't gonna save your life. You gonna run out of ammo. You gonna miss shots. You gonna waste ammo. And guess what, man? The Lord gonna get on your motherfucking ass, man. You see, all y'all gonna get it. Every single last one of y'all. And this is just a representation of the two thirds. I don't know if I grabbed that, but I'm gonna get it one more time, and that's why I'm gonna close out it. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, two thirds therein shall be cut off and die. And the main, a, a, a portion of the two thirds is women. You see, because really women make up the nation, man. There's more women out here than it is men. You see, that's how a man is going to be able to bring back a thousand because he's going to have multiple women. You know? But it said two two parts they in you two thirds, you so called Negro Latinos and Native Indians that refuse to repent and acknowledge the Lord, you you gonna be cut off and die, but the third the one third shall be left therein. So you pretty much the one third is gonna be protected from the judgments, man. But you two thirds, you gonna be cut off and die, man. You know, especially you fucking black silver back bitches, man. The Lord willingness was edifying to the elect and to those seeking salvation through our Lord Yahweh Shah. So I was giving honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Shah, 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 Yahweh